for me, it, it's like all about, you know, feeling that image out rather than, than seeing it, you know. Um, and I've always said that, you know, that I felt that my camera is, you know, like a conduit between uh, the spirit of the natural world and that of mine. I live in Ely, Minnesota. I'm a nature photographer. Currently, um, I'm doing an image a day project, which um, I believe started on September 23rd this year. And um, I guess what started out to be more of a creative primer for the large format camera, which is what I normally use. You know, I decided to uh, just kind of mess around with the digital a little bit uh, and you know, to see what would happen. And you know, there's kind of something, some sort of switch that you know took place. And I think by day four, um, I realized that there was a, you know, a definite, you know, possibility to take this to an image a day project. Today we're on, uh, we just shot day 50. We had something uh, got eaten up here. A bird of some sort. Um, essentially that the image a day project has kind of, it's kind of taken me full circle to the point, you know, where I first got into photography. You know, I feel like I'm, 20 years old. You know, you have that, um, that curiosity, that enthusiasm, but this time coming back around, I have the experience, you know, um, the knowledge, you know, carried throughout the years. So, you know, it, it's definitely um, up the game as far as, you know, the creative level goes. I would say the direction the photos are going, the, you know, the images are, um, it's very ethereal, um, abstract, you know, introspective. It, it almost seems like the closer I go in, the bigger things get. So the small little worlds of exploration, I mean, there are billions and billions, you know, of things you could do. You know, compared to, you know, if you did a wider landscape, it's all right there. I mean, this you can, um, you, you know, you can do a lot more with it. It's taking a, um, I'm trying to render that as more of a, impressionistic looking image and you know, one of the ways you can do that is uh, before you actually you know take the exposure you kind of just got to start a little bit of a shake and then pull the trigger at the same time and you can kind of get um, you know more of a painterly feel to it that's kind of I like that the process just kind of follows through. You know, trusting in, in that process will always get you to um, where you need to be. And I think, you know, it, it's a, there's a feeling there when, when you find that one thing. Um, it's almost, you know, you can't really figure out what it is unless you, you know, involve yourself in, engage with it and then figure that out. But um, like when we were at Lake One, um, and I was shooting, you know, the Labrador tea leaves through, um, and that was it. I got one shot. I checked the, you know, the screen back quick, and I knew I had to keep going deeper. Yeah, I got to keep on this. Uh, it's interesting. So, it'll, you know, sometimes it, it'll take, you know, just getting to this point, um, and then once you start. It'll take one image and all of a sudden that'll just set the whole thing off where you keep going further into exploration which leads you right down to the next and the next and um, you know, hopefully you know, some new discovery. There was something with the feel of what was there. I mean that, that image almost just reminded me of you know, looking into another galaxy in a sense. I mean you had that softness but you had this motion to it that, you know, that was solid, it was there but it wasn't. And that to me is, it's, you know, it's the free flow of spirit. Yeah, I wonder if 
This is actually awakening here, holy crap. That's actually um, from the Lego camera. Lego pinhole that I built. Um, so pretty much, I had a, it should be felted on the inside for keep it all black. You can see all the light holes through it. And then in the back, here we have a four by five inch film holder. So you get a stack of holders here, you got film here. Film goes in, locks down a little bit. All right, so yeah, there's the uh, pinhole lens, and then I have uh, a little shutter right there. Blocks out the lens, so whenever you're ready to shoot, you just pop it off. Usually a timed exposure. Yeah, the modifications really started out several years ago doing pinhole work, and one of which I call the UFO. And, um, you know, the, the work that's come out of this is, it's so trippy. I mean, it's like something that, you know, you couldn't even imagine in a dream. Here we have a, I believe this was a, the first actual uh, photograph I took um, with the, I term the UFO camera. Um, basically, you know, the camera has six um, pinhole lenses all the way around it, and it has a film advance on it that you can turn. Um, you know, so the film will eventually, from your full roll, come around all the way back into the take up. So the, <clears throat> the lenses are designed to overlap. So wherever this is open, this pinhole lens is gonna project an image onto that film, you know, kind of like that. And then the next one overlaps that and vice versa. But the cool thing about, you know, how this is, is it, it doesn't really create a panoramic you just never know what you're going to get. But this is kind of like, you know, I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, is this photoshopped to create it? No, the effect is entirely um, created with the camera. You know, it just it goes to show that, you know, technology, you know, doesn't rule. So uh, yeah, the large format camera um, is something I've been using for probably, I think the last 13 years now. The uh, large format system I have here, um, all the, the camera lenses um, and tripod, we're probably looking at, uh, as far as weight goes, maybe closing in on 70 pounds. So it's, uh, it's heavy. Basically, your front standard up here, you know, that's where your lens attaches to. There's your lens, and then it's basically the bellows is nothing but, nothing but that. Light tight. Okay, let's go get it. I still can't believe I live here. Like, this is just a dream come true. Um, wilderness, natural world is so important to me. Um, you know, it's my grounding, it's, it's my spirituality. You know, it's, uh, there's something about it that uh, you know, I can't really put into words, but you know, you know it's just, it completes me, let's say that. The 
ethereal. I mean, I, I'm going to explore this a little bit more. You know, it, it's amazing to me that in just that first shot, you look at the back and it's like, wow, okay, I could never have conceived that in my mind. And um, that's, you know, part of the, you know, that is the process of exploration. I mean, you're going out there and if you keep moving forward, um, you will find that discovery. This is unreal.